Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show. Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here on this Saturday. Hope your weekend's going great so far, even though it is bright and early on a Saturday morning. Um, today's video is something that I thought I needed to do after I did the video uh, the other day, uh, yesterday. Uh, whatever day it was with George Lindsay and Francis Bavier. Um, because there was a lot of comments on there and I just thought this was should be put out there for those who did not know. And a reminder for those who did. <clears throat> so let's get into it. It's been more than 60 years since the Andy Griffith Show premiered. The show's unforgettable characters cemented their places in television history and in the hearts of generations of the show's fans. Behind the scenes, some of the actors didn't get along. Set in Mayberry, the Andy Griffith Show ran for eight years. It starred Andy Griffith as Andy Taylor, of course. And he was joined by Don Knotts and, and uh, Ron Howard, who played Barney Fife and Opie Taylor. And Francis Bavier, who played Taylor's Aunt B. Along with the rest of the show's cast, including Floyd the Barber and Otis the Town Drunk, <clears throat> and Goober and Gomer, and many more, they represented a closeness of family and community that represents many small towns across this country. <clears throat> Excuse me. When cameras weren't rolling, at least one of those characters was known for being hard to work with, and that was, of course, Frances Bobbier. She was America's favorite aunt, had a reputation of being easily offended, and didn't appreciate the role that made her household name. She said, You can't be an actress for 40 years living in a world of make-believe and not be affected. Sooner or later, your mind begins to click, and in my case, you are wise to seek professional help to help stop being Aunt B after work. It's terribly difficult because Aunt B is so much nicer than the real me. Unlike plays in which you play a character only a couple hours each day, you must be a television character for 12 hours a day. And even when you go home, people don't recognize you as you. But for the character you play, it can be awfully confusing. She reportedly only clashed with Griffith on set but had great respect for him and his role for making The Andy Griffith Show a success. But by the time the camera stopped rolling and the show wrapped in 68, she was one of the few stars who appeared on the show's spinoff, Mayberry RFD, making her one of the longest-lasting characters from the franchise. Andy himself admitted that he and Bobby A. often clashed during filming and didn't stay in contact after the end of the show. But Bobby A. did reach out to Griffith one final time before her death in 1989. In an interview with Ralph Emery, Andy Griffith revealed that Bobby A. had contacted him after finding out that she had cancer and apologized for being so difficult to work with. Her words, I'm sorry we didn't get along better. It was my fault. I wish we had gotten along better. You ran the show and you made the show a success, and I'm just sorry we didn't get along better. While Frances Bobby A. had many other acting roles to her credit, she would always be Aunt B., and to millions of fans who loved her and the Andy Griffith Show, she will always be Aunt B. I thought some of us needed a reminder of that, including myself and others who did not know. Um, forgiveness is a big thing uh, to be given and to, to receive. Uh, and it's never too late to forgive. Never. So... Have a great weekend. I'll catch you tomorrow. Don't forget the trivia question on the Facebook page. God bless, and I'll be praying for you.